truly feel we're going to get to the bottom of this, and that's why I'm asking for your, for help out there. Any tips we can get is uh, is monumental and it can really bring this case to resolution. A day after the family of 14-year-old Libby German made that public plea for answers, her grandfather tonight sits down with Eyewitness News. And his message is adding even more urgency to the search for whoever murdered Libby and her friend, 13-year-old Abby Williams, nearly one month ago. Tonight, Emily Longnecker joins us live in Delphi after speaking with the family just moments ago. Emily? Well, well, Ann and John, uh, Libby German's grandfather, Mike Patty, says he is thankful for all the tips that have come in in just the past 24 hours alone. He says it will only take just one tip, the right one, to find this killer. We spoke with Mr. Patty just a short time ago. Here is some of what he had to say. Are you encouraged, though, that all, like, tips, I mean, you spoke yesterday, and boom, I mean, here it comes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of the purpose, you know. It wasn't just for me to get some face time in front of the TV. It's really to kind of help uh, inform the public out there, you know, research this thing back up into the media, and people have now been able to see all those uh, pictures and, and listen to the uh, audio clip. And now I have a, a chance to maybe call it back in. So listen, what is, I mean, what's getting you through? I, you know, I mean, what's getting you out of bed every morning? Because this is, I would imagine, your worst nightmare. Well, we, you know, still have my whole family to deal with. So I have to, you know, we have to get up and go and, and put one foot in front of the other. Uh, it's tough. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, this is a, a horrible thing that nobody, no family should ever have to go through. Do you, uh, do you talk to the Williams family? Do you all stay in touch, especially like during this right now? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, I don't want to say constant communication, but you know, almost daily. Yeah. And is that important? I mean, is that good? For oh, you? absolutely. I think, I think, I think it's both for, uh, good for both families. Now, investigators have said they still cannot say for sure whether this killer is local or someone that was just passing through. Mike Patty says that he is encouraged by the fact that there are billboards now up in 46 states with that suspect's picture on those billboards. It is a picture that Mike Patty says that he looks at every day. He says he gets out of bed every morning, and he says today is the day that investigators are going to solve this case. John? All right, thank you. That's Emily Longnecker in Delphi tonight. And while Libby's family makes another plea for justice in these murders, people are finding new ways to show their support. A restaurant owner in nearby Burlington who grew up in Delphi is hosting a fundraiser tomorrow. It's not a Delphi thing. It's, it's an American thing now. I mean, it's, it's nationwide. And we need to bring everybody together and find who did this. You know, we felt compelled that we needed to do something. It's a cook-off at Beck's Restaurant. It starts at 11 a.m. at the Burlington Fire Department. There will be raffles throughout the day and entertainment for the kids. All proceeds will go to an account set up in Libby and Abby's honor. And the reward for information in this case has now grown to more than $225,000 thanks to a nearly $600 donation from a sixth-grade girls basketball team in Rucheville. If you know anything that can help, here's the number for the anonymous tip line. It's 844 Four five nine five seven eight six. We have posted that number along with a tip email address at WTHR.com and on the WTHR News app.